Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is slightly different from normal, but it's also kind of the same. Over the last few days, a warning message has been sent across a lot of the Minecraft related Discord servers. While all of the warning messages are worded slightly differently, they all say basically the same thing. Something along the lines of, a warning to anyone using PolyMC. A developer has gone rogue and kicked all of the other developers off of the project. A lot of smart people are recommending that you delete PolyMC off of your computer as it may be a security risk to your system. The devs that were kicked off of the project have forked PolyMC and started their own version called Prism. You can switch to that with this link or if you would like to continue using PolyMC, follow this tutorial to patch the launcher. The more I looked into this warning, the more confused and angry comments I found, so I decided to make a video to clear some things up. Before I tell you more about what PolyMC actually is and what happened, I'd like to remind you all to join my Discord server. It's linked down below. Join now to help us reach 3000 members. And I also have to give a quick shout out to the legends that are my YouTube members. They help me make higher quality videos more often. Anyways, that is more than enough rambling, let's get into the video. Before I tell you where things went wrong and what is currently happening with the project, I have to give a quick explanation on what PolyMC actually is. For anyone that doesn't already know, PolyMC is an alternative open source Minecraft launcher that focuses on improving upon the original Minecraft launcher while also offering some additional and helpful features. I'm pretty sure everyone watching, or at least a very high percentage of you, can agree that the default Minecraft launcher is horrible. The default launcher has a lot of problems. One of the most annoying issues in my opinion is creating a new instance. There is a little checkbox to enable or disable snapshots, but it literally does nothing. Snapshots are shown no matter what, which makes it a pain to create a new instance, especially for older versions. If you have more than one account with the default launcher, it takes forever to switch between these accounts. You have to wait for Xbox Live to authenticate and then load. And on top of all of that, if your alternate accounts are linked to a different email address from the one you use for your Windows installation, you will get this annoying pop-up telling you that they don't match. You can't even disable this pop-up, but instead you are given the option to hide it for 30 days. Also, if you are a person who enjoys using mods, you may know how painful it is having to move mods in and out of the mods folder every time you decide to play vanilla, multiplayer or even a different version. These are just a few of the things that annoy me the most about the default launcher. There are a lot of other problems, but anyways, you get the point. The default launcher sucks. All of these issues prompted smart people from the Minecraft community to work on their own custom launchers for Minecraft. Each and every one of these launchers fixed certain issues and added their own useful features. One of the most known alternative launchers is probably MultiMC. MultiMC describes their launcher as an alternative launcher for Minecraft. It allows you to have multiple cleanly separated instances of Minecraft, each with their own mods, resource packs, saves, etc and helps you manage them and their associated options with a simple and powerful interface. This is where we get to PolyMC. PolyMC is actually a fork from MultiMC. They describe their launcher as an open source Minecraft launcher with the ability to manage multiple instances, accounts and mods, focused on user freedom and free redistributability. Like MultiMC, PolyMC allows its users to create different instances each in their own folder with their own mods, resource packs, shaders and settings. PolyMC also focuses on mod pack management. Users can download mod packs through PolyMC from Cursed Forge, Technic, FTB, FTB Legacy and Modrinth. So now that you have a basic understanding of what PolyMC is, you may be wondering what went wrong. Why are there warning messages propagating through Discord servers? Well, this is where the story gets interesting. One day out of nowhere, one of the admin developers, Lenny, decided to remove all of the other developers from the project. There was no prior discussion or warning. One day the devs had access and the next they did not. At first people thought Lenny was hacked and that PolyMC was compromised. This is when the warning messages started being spread on Discord. Some of them telling people to urgently uninstall PolyMC before their computers got compromised. As you can probably imagine, this created a lot of chaos and confusion amongst the PolyMC user base. 
After some time, Lenny would post a GPG signed message stating that he had not been compromised. I am not going to explain what a GPG signed message is in this video, but all you need to know for now is that it can be used to verify a person's identity online. So now people were even more confused. Lenny had just confirmed that he was not hacked and most people were wondering why he kicked the other developers out of PolyMC. He then allegedly posted a statement in his Discord server. Before I show you what he said, I would like to state that I did not personally see this message and I cannot 100% confirm that he sent it. But I have seen multiple people uploading different screenshots of the same message which leads me to believe that it was in fact sent by Lenny. In this message he said, They say it's compromised but all they mean is that I removed all of the other contributors permissions who were promoting radicalist leftist ideologies and people really think I got hacked just because I was never public about hating this. If he did send that message, and I'm pretty sure he did, I think it's so stupid to completely ruin the reputation of PolyMC and his own name with politics that have nothing to do with the project or Minecraft. I have read a lot of messages, comments, tweets and reddit posts about the whole situation and this comment by Zerion Infinity pretty much sums up what I think about the whole situation. <laughs> So now that you know what actually happened, some of you are probably wondering if it is safe to continue using PolyMC. And while at first this may not seem like a bad idea, after all he was not hacked, he just decided to forcefully take control of the project. But in reality there is no one to moderate what he adds to PolyMC. When there are multiple devs they can moderate each other but now that Lenny is the only dev, he has the power to add whatever he likes to the project, both good or bad. I also found something that I found extremely concerning. A few people have been claiming that Lenny was friends with a known malicious developer and that said developer was an admin in Lenny's discord server. Unfortunately no one was able to provide any proof of this so I did some digging. After contacting multiple people and asking them about their posts claiming that Lenny was friends with a known malicious developer, I finally got in contact with the redditor who was able to send me the malicious devs github profile. On this github profile there is a tool for stealing people's discord tokens. But there was still no clear connection between Lenny and this profile. The discord account linked to the profile no longer existed. I then noticed that the email linked to the profile has a very weird URL and after visiting that URL I was greeted with this page. It clearly said contact for any issues related to anything hosted on this domain lenny at sneed.crunch. This pretty much proves that the site is owned or at least run by Lenny which directly links Lenny and the github user with a token logger on his account. Personally I think this is concerning enough to stop me from ever using PolyMC again. Some may argue that it was not Lenny that actually created the token logger or that it could have been created for research purposes but there are claims that directly contradict that. There are claims that the user with the discord token logger has been caught stealing people's tokens and that he has also distributed malicious code. Again I can't prove any of that but the claims are not to be taken lightly considering that he has literally created a public tool for stealing people's discord accounts. And the fact that Lenny is potentially friends or even just associated with this individual is very very concerning for the future of PolyMC in my opinion. Thankfully the developers that got kicked out of PolyMC have decided to fork PolyMC and continue it with the same goals as before but without Lenny. If anyone is even considering using PolyMC I would strongly advise you to rather use Prism. It offers all of the same features from PolyMC. PolyMC is what it is today thanks to all of the developers and contributors and now that it is run by a single person it is unlikely to follow the same core goals as before. Thankfully all of the other developers and contributors have moved to Prism and so the project is more likely to continue with the same core goals as before all of the drama. In my eyes Prism is the new PolyMC and I don't see any reason to continue using PolyMC. I have linked the new Prism website and discord server down below for anyone that wants to check it out. Anyways that is what I think about this whole situation. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below.